This is the last video in this series of uh, videos for the introductory project and this one's going to deal with the volume of cylinders and cones. Now you guys have this, uh, this set of formulae in your book so this, these show you how to calculate the volume and total surface area of a bunch of different three-dimensional solids. Uh, we're concentrating on cylinders and cones today. So the cylinder, the volume formula, as we see here, is uh, pi r squared h. And this is interesting because if I was to just put this here, so we have this, uh, this base, this circular base on this uh, cylinder, which is the same shape as the top. Now, of course, that's a repeating cross section. So if, like a pipe loaf of bread, if, you know, if, if I was to slice through the middle of this, I'd get this repeating circle, the same shape, size circle, all the way through everywhere this this repeating cross section and that means is that this uh, the, the cylinders like some other shapes are a prism and with a prism all you need to do is calculate the area of the base and multiply it by the height so that's technically what we're doing here this pi r squared bit if i'll just change color for a moment the pi r squared which I'll circle in blue, is finding the area of the base of the cylinder. Right, so if we can find the area of that base and multiply it by the height, we get the volume. Now, a cone is not a prism. We take uh, this cross or this base here all right once again we're still finding the area of the base if you think about this uh, 2 pi this pi r squared over here but if we were to take these these uh, cross sections like if we took that one at the very base we get a big circle compared to up here if I take a, a cut oh that's not a very good one I'll do it in a different colour too. So if I was to cut up closer to the top, of course, the circle's a lot smaller. It's a much smaller one. Okay, so cones are not prisms, so we can't just multiply the area of the base times the height. But what's interesting is that cones and pyramids are these sort of shapes that start with a base and then uh, sort of... Uh, come up to a point like with a pyramid everything comes up to a particular point same with a cone they reach a point well we can take the area of the base and multiply it by the height and then multiply it by a third it works the same for both okay so one third times the area of the base times the height works for for a cone all right so interesting well let's apply this to a couple of examples so I'll go ahead a bit to this one here uh, on page 10 of your textbook now oh uh, where are we? ah here we go we want the cylinder so once again we've got a couple of other solids that we're going to look at later but we're just going to look at the cylinder for now okay so the area of the base so volume is equal to the area of the base of this uh, this shape, this cylinder. Of course, and one thing I've neglected to mention, of course, we're using the area for a circle formula here. So for the area of a circle, this circular base, we use pi r squared. All right, so we'll go pi times the radius. The radius of this circle is 2.8 squared multiplied by the height of the cylinder which is 4.1 oh that's acting a bit funny bear with me 4.1 okay so put that into the calculator and see if you can get the right answer of course if you can't get the right answer get me over to work with you on this one so that you can 
figure out how you're meant to put this into the calculator. You can pause the video and try that. Okay, so what we need to get here for the volume is 108, uh, 100 point, sorry, 98. Now the units for the lengths here are in centimeters, but for volume, we call these cubic centimeters. So unlike the area where it was to the power of two, here we're to the power of three. So to two decimal places, 100.98 cubic centimeters. Now, those of you who are into your uh, motorbikes like MotoGP or motocross will understand engine capacities are given in cc's that's cubic centimeters cc's so a 500 cc bike has an engine capacity of 500 cubic centimeters which is a lot more than this cylinder here okay uh, so let's skip ahead now this we're going to go right ahead to page 19 and look at the volume of a cone I'll just zoom out so I can see it it's right ahead where is he there he is I'll go back okay so a martini glass which is conical in shape that means it's a cone uh, and it has a height of 10 centimeters and a radius of 6 centimeters so I'll just put that on the diagram 6 centimeters means from the center to the edge of the circle for a radius Oop, I've got 6 meters that should be 6 centimeters now in this they're asking about capacity I'm going to cross that out we'll, we'll come back to this and do it for capacity we're going to do volume here first. Now, volume and capacity, as you'll discover in later videos, and may already have an understanding of, uh, they are very closely linked. And often, uh, we need to find a volume before we can calculate a capacity. But we'll talk more about that later. For now, let's just find the capacity of uh, this uh, martini glass. We're not even going to worry about this bit down here. We're just going to do the top one. Okay, so the formula is the uh, volume equals one third multiplied by the area of the base, which is a circle, so pi by six squared multiplied by the height, which is ten centimeters. Okay, try putting that into the calculator. This one third might be tricky, so if you're not sure what to do with that, get me over and I can show you. Okay, so the answer to two decimal places is 376.99 cubic centimetres. Okay, so that's how we find these volumes for uh, cylinders and cones. And hopefully that will give you some assistance with uh, tackling the introductory project. So as usual, go ahead and try the last couple of questions uh, for this section as uh, preparation for the introductory project. Once you've completed those, you'll be ready to begin the introductory project, which will be very exciting.